finally on today's town hall, an important update on a program from the federal government designed to help music and entertainment venues that have been devastated by the pandemic and the economic downturn. CNBC has been investigating the $16 billion program because nearly six months after it passed, barely 5% of the money has been given out. One of the venues featured in CNBC's investigation is the North Park Theater right here in Buffalo, as we see in this report now from Kate Rogers. For nearly a year, the North Park Theater was in the dark. The Buffalo, New York staple has been around for a century, surviving the Great Depression, the 2008 recession and more. But in 2020, the pandemic shuttered the small business. And right now, the theater's program director, Ray Barker, says he desperately needs a lifeline. The bills kept coming in and we didn't have revenue. Barker says he's waiting on $200,000 in aid from the Small Business Administration's Shuttered Venue Operators Grant Program. He says the money is critical to dig the theater out of a mountain of debt. The bleeding has gone on for 13 months, and this program is supposed to help us, and it has not. The bleeding hasn't stopped in San Francisco either. For somebody like me and everybody who comes to shows and participates in, in making shows happen. It's our way of life and it's having our way of life taken away from us. The Great American Music Hall says it is anxiously awaiting two million dollars in aid from the program. The venue needs the money to bring workers back, pay off debts and prepare to reopen in August when the music will start again. Its application is under review. Still no word on the aid. By asking us to wait longer, you're asking all of our employees to wait to come back to work. Dave Bruno is one of two employees remaining at the hall, which started out as a burlesque house in the early 1900s and began hosting live music events in the 1970s. Like Barker, Bruno rushed to get his application in on day one, only to watch the portal suddenly close down. Weeks later, he was able to submit his application. The government program was signed into law in December, meant to deploy $16 billion in grants to struggling live music and theater venues. But it's been riddled with issues since it launched in April. The portal shut down on its first day due to technical glitches. Weeks later, it reopened and small business applicants like Barker and Bruno moved quickly to sign up. But some reported receiving messages that applications were incomplete or incorrect without guidance on how to amend the issue, leading to more confusion. Small business committee will come to order. The agency's new chief, Isabel Guzman, testified before Congress in late May that the billions in promised aid would soon be making its way to businesses in need. We are processing through those applications as, as quickly as possible. It's a very complex uh, program by statute with various uh, types of entities, which has created a lot of uh, various eligibility requirements along the way. Of the more than 14,000 applications submitted with requests for more than $11 billion in assistance, as of Monday, around 1,400 grants totaling a little more than $833 million have been awarded. Advocates say the timeline is unacceptable because many venues have drained other forms of aid, including Paycheck Protection Program and Economic Injury Disaster Loans to stay afloat. In other words, if the grants don't come soon, small independent venues may not be able to hold on. They've exhausted their savings. They have put second mortgages on their homes. They've drained their 401ks and their kids' college funds. They're taking loans that they would never normally take if they can, but they are exhausted. And CNBC's Kate Rogers joins us now. Kate, it is really great to have you, and it's our understanding that there is a positive update today for the North Park Theater here in Buffalo. Good news there. Hey there. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's great to join you. And we did hear from Ray Barker, who is the program director at the beautiful North Park Theater that I know you and your viewers are quite familiar with that his grant was approved. He just heard this morning. So we're thrilled to hear that. We haven't heard if he's been approved for the full amount that he was seeking, which was $200,000. So we're waiting to hear a bit more. He's not sure yet when he'll get the money, but we're all hoping soon. And, you know, again, a positive uh, update after Aaron that last night. Yeah, some good news there. And also you showed part of the congressional hearing with the SBA's new administrator. And I imagine that there's quite a bit of political pressure on the agency to pick up the pace, considering lawmakers all over the country are feeling pressure from these venues in their communities. So it doesn't really look good for anybody. 
Yeah, Senator Schumer in New York and also Senator Klobuchar were two of uh, the lawmakers that helped to really usher this program into existence and they have been seeking some data around what had been the hold up with getting these grants out a bit sooner the sba has taken on a ton of different lending and grant programs over the last year some have gone out really quickly like the paycheck protection program and also uh, the agency's restaurant revitalization fund the shuttered venue operators grant program has to be run a bit differently the agency says due to statutes that were ushered in in part under the last administration. So they did say that they're working as quickly as possible to kind of resolve that, get through some of the manual application processes that are in place and move the grants out quickly. There's certainly a lot of pressure and advocacy groups like the one that you hear from in our piece, uh, the National Independent Venue Association, they've been really pushing to find out what's taking so long and also underscore the fact that so many of these venues are independent and they really need the money. They were the first to close. They'll likely be the last to reopen and some are just barely hanging on. Yeah, absolutely. Kate Rogers is with CNBC. Great story and thanks for coming on as well and talking us through some of this. Great. Thank you guys for having me. And you should know the CNBC reached out to the Small Business Administration, which has hundreds of reviewers working to give out funds as quickly as possible. Yeah, the SBA said that statutory requirements created by the last administration added another layer of work. And so between three, 30 and 100 documents per application must be reviewed before the grants can go out. Venues certainly hopeful and eager to see this resolved as soon as possible. If you have a question or a comment for the town hall, you can text us 716-849-2220 is the number.